What are you doing? If you want to heat a room effectively using hot air, you require movement of air throughout the room from as close as possible to the floor. Heat transfer from one object, whether that is a floor, a couch, a chair, or a TV stand, is always from the warmer to the cooler. Collisions on a molecular level cause the heat to flow in this way. When heating with warm air, you have to consider both conduction and convection. Conduction is occurring when the warm air heats objects in the room you are heating. The surface of the objects are first warmed by the hot air. Then conduction transfers heat inside the object, storing heat inside it similar to how a battery stores electricity. Convection occurs as warm air is less dense than cooler air. That is, it becomes lighter. So the effect is that gravity pushes the cooler, heavier air downwards, which in turn displaces the hotter, lighter air upwards. If you have a heat outlet near the ceiling, the effect of convection will cause this air to heat the ceiling and the tops of the walls, where it will eventually be conducted to the outside of the building. Convection will cause an undesirable thermal gradient, meaning cooler air will stay nearer to the floor, so the floor and furniture will not get sufficient energy to allow conduction to warm them up. Air is a very poor heat conductor. The heat transfer coefficient of air is only 0.024. What this means is that air does not transfer heat very well, apart from upwards via convection. Ideally, you need to motivate the air to collide with near objects in order to transfer the heat via conduction and heat the objects. The objects themselves likely have much better conductivity properties than air, so are able to more quickly transfer the heat internally so they can be heated entirely. You also need to keep the air moving to force it to be better at conducting heat. Moving air has a better ability to mix cold air pockets with hot air streams. So all those solar heaters I've seen on the internet would be far more effective if they blew heat out at the floor level. Yes! And what if the temperature drops due to a passing cloud or a shadow? Wouldn't it be best to keep the air moving? Mm-hmm. You got it! Next generation.